is Crafty Sherry once again and thank you guys for those who watched my last video thank you so much and for those who are still wanna watch or is gonna still watch thank you guys and I thank you for uh, for all my friends sa mga lahat ng tumingin o nagsupport sa akin thank you for supporting me and I hope you're still supporting me guys thank you so much I love you all and I hope you're all in good shape once again and everything is fine in you and including your family and right this very moment guys I have an another topic I hope that this will be interesting for you too because this is my first time to do this experiment to to do all these procedures even though I've tried some one before and this is to find out whether your honey is fake or real is your honey fake or real That's for us to find out here actually this is what I'm talking guys this is honey I love honey so much and this is from the grocery shop that we bought actually we use really uh, my husband and I we use well we bought honey from uh, the government subsidy this uh, honey from that we usually used uh, from the villagers they used to collect honey uh, organically and uh, one kind of help from that from that community so and the government is also giving a very affordable affordable price <laughs> and then, uh, like they're using by kilo actually so like for one kilo, the the government sell it for in pesos like uh, two hundred fifty to three hundred around like that. So it's very cheap for one kilo. So and by looking the honey through its physical look, it's very hard. So uh, it's very hard whether it's fake or real. So we have to do an experiment. So I hope you will stick with me until this video will finish and. I have one person that he taught me before that even though I did the research but he had this idea he's he told me that by looking the physical look uh, he said uh, you have to do the honey like this if you want to buy in the commercial like in the grocery shop and you don't have an idea uh, if there's no bubbles by doing like this that will creating bubbles bubbles he said it's a 100% honey or organic honey as as i am saying so anyway proving this honey uh whether it's fake or real so let's start with the first experiment okay so our first procedure guys anyway i hope you will stick with me so that you will also learn something so it says the first procedure i have one glass here empty glass i will pour water in this glass it says Place a one spoon of honey into a glass of water. So if the honey won't dissolve quickly or it won't dissolve, it means it's a pure honey. So I have one spoon and I have this honey too. So this is our glass of water guys. And I'm going to pour now a one tablespoon of honey to check whether this honey will dissolve in this glass of water. So this is it and we will just wait for a few moments. After a few moments, this is our honey now. As you can see, the honey did not dissolve. So I can tell this honey have just passed the first experiment. So guys, let's proceed. In the second procedure, I have a match here. Uh, because in the second procedure, it says burn honey with phosphorus or in a match. So come here. Anyway, I'm pouring the honey, guys. Oh, maybe this is enough. And I don't know because shall we burn it? <laughs> maybe I have to lift. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Don't cut. It's good to prove the real thing. Oh my gosh. So guys, what happened? We will try again because uh, I don't know what happened with that. It feels like it says burn honey with phosphorus. Let's see if it will burn. It ignites. Let's try one more time. So I'm using this plate, guys, because our table it has it's it is glass and also with plastic. 
So I have to dip this one. If it's, it says, if it burns or ignites, it means it's a real honey. Oh. Okay, that's it. So guys, let's proceed in the third procedure. It says, pour uh, some drops of vinegar in a glass of water with uh, honey. So this, is, this was our first procedure. See, the honey is still there. So... The first procedure proved that this honey is maybe real. So let's go proceed this and try this vinegar. I have some vinegar here, just few. It says proof. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm going to try to get back. Some few drops. Anyway, guys, sorry for that. I didn't calculate. Some few drops. Some few drops. We'll try more. Does it change? It doesn't change at all. Come over here. So as you can see, guys, the honey. This was from the first procedure that I, the one glass of honey with one spoon of, I mean, one glass of water with one spoon of honey, and I just put some few drops of vinegar. The honey is still the same so this means uh you we cannot the purpose of this is to identify whether the honey will produce um lumps or like uh how do you call this foams foams yeah once it created foams secreted foams it is adulterated so this guys it passes the, you know i cannot see any foams the, that was the purpose to find out if there is any foams because once it produces foams it means the honey is adulterated adulterated means it mixed with uh, artificial like so guys let's proceed for the fourth procedure that I'm so excited to know also guys because this is to find out whether your honey is having or content with cornstarch or uh, some other things cornstarch particularly uh, to prove your honey whether it's with corn cornstarch it's mean it means it is adulterated i will discuss to you what is adulterated so i i have your iodine tincture so iodine tincture is a disinfectant for for healing the wounds also so i will drop i will drop some iodine in the water then after that i will uh, add some honey in this once it turns into blue that means the honey is not organic or pure it it is adulterated so i'll put some honey now i will use one spoon i'd say it's not necessarily one spoon but some honey so if the honey will turn into blue the honey is contained with uh, how do you call that? Cornstarch. Or the honey is adulterated. Adulterated honey means, guys, it means uh, your honey is mixed with artificial flavor like uh, sugar, corn syrup, um, what else? Uh, molasses or anything that is not from uh, from the floral nectar because uh, pure honey is only from the floral nectar so it's it should not be mixed with sugar or anything aside from the other nectar, uh, floral nectar so as you can see as you can see this is the honey with i will try this is a challenge i will try i will add a little some tincture If it's turning to blue, maybe the drops are not yet enough, enough, <laughs> and I will put some honey, a little. Let's see. That's another challenge for this brand. Post it. 
So this is the honey with uh, tincture or iodine tincture to prove whether the honey has cornstarch or adulterated honey. So these are experiments, the results of our experiments, guys, and the results, it says excellent for me. Anyway, there is a question, guys, whether the honey will crystallize or not. Yes, it will crystallize by naturally, naturally honey, pure honey will crystallize over the times and pure honey will not expire uh, over years. It will crystallize by its own natural process, but it depends on where uh, the place you are going to put. And honey should not be placed on the fridge because uh, it is a natural preservative because of the glucose and fructose, so it's not necessarily to put in the fridge. And once it's starting to form crystallization, you better put in a warm place, like near in the stove, so that it will not form crystallizations because uh, it will start to harden, you know, when it starts to crystal. So when once you use it, it's easy for you to take the honey. So, but then honey, the it says that the 100% pure honey or organic honey will not expire over the times. Not unless your honey is mixed with water accidentally, like uh, maybe you took some honey and some water, you dropped some water accidentally. So while storing it, it will expire, guys. So that's it. I have decided to show this brand. This is not a sponsor, but in fairness of this brand, I want to give justice. It's a the board brand actually so now i'm a fan proving that the four experiment method he passes so this good i think he's good yeah so the board brand is good guys so once again thank you so much for watching and bearing with me guys and i hope to see you next time guys i hope you will stay tuned on my next uploaded video and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video if if you think this is very useful and uh, helpful to to prove to discover or to know whether how to discover your real honey or fake honey guys so please don't hesitate to share to your friends to your family and everyone so that everyone has have this idea and please don't forget to subscribe please click the bell button in there the red button also in there guys so that every time i upload a new video you will always be notified and once again Thank you for watching and let me say God bless us all and stay safe everyone. Thank you and I love you all guys. Thank you for watching. Mm.